This episode of Soldier Knows Best is brought to you by Crash Plan. Hey, what's up guys, Soldier Knows Best here. This is my review of the new 27 inch Slim iMac. I'm gonna be talking about this all new design, talk about the internals and see the performance of this beast and whether this is gonna be a really good desktop for you. So first we're gonna talk about the design and the hardware. Now the first thing people want to talk about with this new iMac is how thin it is. Now when you look at it from the right angle, you'll see this thing basically looks like it's not even there at all. It's super slim. But when you take a look around the back, it does have a little hump there where the rest of the internal components are. But even with that hump there, this thing is considerably thinner than the previous generation iMac. Now one of the reasons that it is so thin is because Apple decided to get rid of the optical drive. The same thing they did with the, the MacBook Pros and the MacBook Air. They got rid of that optical drive, so if you're going to need to use any type of disk media, you're going to need to buy an external drive. As we take a look at the back of the iMac, Mac, you will find four USB 3.0 ports, two Thunderbolt ports, an Ethernet port, and also too, you'll find the SD card slot on the back, not on the side anymore. So there's going to be a little bit more of a hassle when you are switching out SD cards. Then also you'll find a headphone jack. Now on the front, you will find the FaceTime HD camera, which is capable of 720p HD video. Then also too, you'll find dual microphones now, which is going to be great for noise cancellation and things like that. As we take a look at the display, spec-wise, the display really isn't that much better from the previous generation iMac, but Apple did use a new process called full lamination to eliminate this two millimeter gap that was in the previous generation iMac, and basically that gap was in between the LCD panel and the glass itself. So they got rid of that, and that basically gonna push that LCD panel kind of just closer to you, and this is gonna produce a better overall image, and I will be able to tell you that um, the blacks just look a, a lot deeper on this new 27-inch um, iMac. And another thing that this new process does is it does get rid of 75% of the reflection that you may get from lights and things like that. So it's gonna have a lot less glare than the previous generation. So overall, this new display is gonna be better for people who work in photography or work with video. And one quick note about the speakers in this new iMac is that I did found that the sound was a lot fuller than the previous generation iMac. So overall, the sound quality has been improved. Now it's gonna take a look at the performance of the new iMac. Now the iMac that I'm reviewing here today features the 3.4 gigahertz Intel Core i7 processor, 16 gigabytes of DDR3 RAM, the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 680MX GPU that has two gigabytes of DDR3 memory. And then this thing does come with the one terabyte fusion drive, which is basically a mix between an SSD and a traditional hard disk drive. Now I use Geekbench too, which is a very popular benchmarking tool. And I got easily over 14,000 in all my 64 bit tests that I did on this thing. So this machine, definitely performs up there past some of the previous Mac Pros and this machine really just has solid scores all the way through. Now, I also did a disk speed test to really test out this new Fusion drive, and the read and write speeds were pretty comparable to most of the uh, SSDs out in the market right now. And it's definitely not going to benchmark as fast as some of the top SSDs because it's not an entire an SSD. It definitely uses a traditional hard disk drive as well, uh, but you will find you'll be able to get the best of both worlds by having uh, you know up to one terabyte worth of storage, but also to have the, the speed of an SSD, which a one terabyte SSD would definitely cost you probably you know $1,500 to $2,000 right now. Now, other general performance things like booting up and shutdown time were definitely there they're definitely good and also exporting a movie from final cut pro uh, it, it just really churned through that that's partly due to that new gpu uh, the quad core processor and just really the the, the the fusion drive really all working in harmony together so if you're going to be working again any type of video editing and things like that this new imac is going to be a screamer now, real quick, let me go ahead and show you some gaming on this new iMac. Now, I downloaded the new Borderlands 2, which just became available in the Mac App Store. And I went ahead and put this thing on the 27-inch iMac. And I would tell you the performance is probably the best gaming performance that I ever had um, on a Mac itself. And that's not really saying too much compared to the PC world. Um, and, but I, I will say the performance was good enough that if you are trying to you know, game a little bit, um, this new 27-inch iMac will get you the best performance out there of any other Mac. All right, so now it's time to wrap up my review of this new 27-inch iMac. Now, this new iMac definitely has a very nice look to it. It's easily the best-looking all-in-one computer out there on the market right now. Now, you definitely are missing some things from the Super Drive not being there. It's not fully, you know, uh, user-upgradable. The only thing you can really upgrade on this new iMac is the RAM itself uh, without having to really get into the machine itself and really tinker around with a lot of stuff. You can, but it's definitely be a lot of work. Uh, but other than that, I would say the performance of this new iMac definitely rivals any other desktop that Apple has released in the past. Now you combine that with the new display manufacturing process that Apple initiated with this new iMac and that it does really increase the performance of the display compared to the previous iMac and then also to the portability of having an all-in-one is going to be great for college students and things like that. Um, this new iMac is definitely an easy choice. If you are a Mac user and you're looking to upgrade your machine and get a desktop that's really going to be able to do almost anything you throw at it, uh, this new 27-inch iMac is definitely going to be the one for you. And then also this new Fusion Drive does perform and there have been other computers with similar technology in them, um, but this is the first time we're able to get that type of technology in the Mac 
back and Apple did really do a good job with that. And so this new 27 inch iMac starts off at $1,799 plus you can also look into its 21.5 inch little brother iMac which has basically the same design but definitely the internals are clocked down a little bit but that starts off at $12.99. So anyway guys I'm about to end this video but before I do just going to take one last look at our sponsor for this video. Now, if you're watching this video on a computer that you don't have a regular backup plan for, you are wrong. Yes, you are wrong. Backing up can be a, a hassle sometimes. Sometimes you just want something that's going to be automatic, that's going to be secure, and just happens without you having to think about it or do anything. And that's where Crash Plan comes in handy. Crash Plan is a great piece of online backup software that allows you to create a super secure online backup cloud. And this works on Mac, Windows, and Linux computers. Now backups are continuous and you can also access that information on your cell phone or your tablet using one of Crash Plan's free mobile apps. So if you want to go ahead and try out true unlimited stores that you can access anywhere, visit CrashPlan.com forward slash soldier and start protecting your digital life with the easiest, most secure backup solution available. All right, guys, again, thanks for watching this video. Please leave a comment down below what you think about this new 27-inch iMac. Is this the desktop of your dreams, or do you hate it? Do you think it sucks? Is it overpriced crap? Anyway, just leave a comment down below with whatever you think, and I will catch you guys later. Peace.